Imagine your family gathered around the fireplace. The room is filled with the warm glow of holiday lights and the comforting scent of pine. It's in these moments of togetherness that we often reflect on what truly matters. But have you considered that this could also be the perfect time for an essential family conversation? One that could shape the future and ensure that your loved ones are protected and prepared. Today, we're going to talk about how the holidays can be more than just a time for celebration. They can be a golden opportunity to discuss the crucial topic of estate planning. Let's unlock the potential of these gatherings to secure your family's future. Hi, I'm estate planning attorney Mike Smith with Smith Baird LLC, and I'm one half of these estate planning guys. The holidays are a time of joy, reflection, and togetherness, and they also present a unique opportunity to have important conversations with your loved ones about estate planning. In this video, we're going to explore how we can use the holiday season to start these vital conversations. So the holidays often bring us together and they provide a chance for everybody to be in one place. And that can be the perfect time to talk about the future. So find a comfortable setting, maybe after a meal when everybody's relaxed, they maybe had a couple of glasses of wine and are uh, just a bit more relaxed than usual and more open to a meaningful conversation about these topics. Start by just talking about the basics like wills and trust and explain how they're important, how they protect everyone's interests. Then you could talk about healthcare directives and powers of attorney, ensuring that everyone's wishes are respected if they go through a mental incapacity, a cognitive issue. And then you can bring up the topic of beneficiaries. This is a really important to talk with your beneficiaries about asset distribution and the reasons behind your decisions. And I know that can be an uncomfortable conversation, but here's the deal. You can have that conversation now and explain yourself and why you feel the way you do and why you're doing what you're doing. Or you can skip that conversation and let your kids fight about it after you're gone. Because I can guarantee you, if they don't understand why you're doing what you're doing, oftentimes there will wind up being conflict in the family. And that is not something that any of us want. Uh, what we all want is for our families to get along and to receive these gifts that you've left them in an orderly fashion and, and not have a dispute about it. So having this conversation, even though it can be a little uncomfortable, it's really important that the beneficiaries understand why you're doing what you're doing and, and, and how things are set up. So you can discuss also who you've chosen to serve as executors or trustees in these roles as a as an executor as a trustee as a power of attorney agent as a, a healthcare agent on an advanced directive for healthcare so that they understand why you wanted sally to do it instead of johnny for example and what your what your reasons behind that are so it's super important to have that conversation with everybody in your family now it's crucial to initiate this discussion with sensitivity you got to acknowledge that these topics are you know, sensitive and they can be uncomfortable, but it's also necessary to have these conversations and much better to have these conversations now than for your kids to try and figure out what you were thinking after you've passed away. Because all I can do is create a black and white legal document that that details what your what your wishes are in a fairly specific sense, but I, I can't give them the reasons behind that. So it's important for you to have that conversation with your children, with your family, about what you're thinking and why you're doing what you're doing. So if you're interested in learning more about how we help families protect their legacies from probate, predators, and government intrusions, I wrote a free book titled The Ultimate Gift that lays it all out. If you'd like to pick up your free copy of The Ultimate Gift, simply click the link below, give us your address and a credit card for shipping and handling fees, and we'll ship it out to you free of charge. Read The Ultimate Gift so you can learn how to protect your family. Also be aware of family dynamics. Uh, you know, this conversation should be inclusive allow everybody to voice their thoughts and concerns, you know, be open, encourage honesty, and remind your family that ultimately the goal is to ensure everyone's well-being and peace of mind, and that you want to avoid having any conflict among them after you're gone. So there's some things to be aware of. Be prepared for emotional responses or, you know, disagreements among family members. It's natural that these conversations are going to stir up emotions, and there may be things that 
have have stayed kind of hidden or suppressed for a long time that might come up. So be prepared to have these conversations and that there could be an emotional response to some of the content of these conversations. If the conversation becomes too challenging, remind everybody what the common goal is, that you're trying to plan for the well-being and security of the family and that you're trying to avoid um, any sort of hurt feelings or controversy or conflict uh, after you're gone. The huge benefit to having these talks is that they can prevent misunderstandings and conflicts in the future. I've said that conflicts a number of times, but I've seen many families, you know, simply torn apart by the fact that they didn't understand, you know, why mom and dad maybe gave their sibling uh, 10% more than what they got or why, uh, you know, their brother was named as the executor or trustee rather than themselves. And I can't offer that context to the beneficiaries or children uh, oftentimes. That is something that you need to provide to them now so that we can avoid these you know, conflicts down the road. Um, and we can ensure that everybody's wishes are known. So it doesn't mean that you're gonna do exactly what your kids want, but at least you understand what their feelings are, what their thoughts are about things. And such transparency can actually strengthen family bonds, build a foundation of trust and, and mutual understanding. So starting these conversations can be challenging, but they're a crucial part of ensuring your family's future is secure. The holidays is a perfect time to have these conversations when you have everybody together and do it in a relaxed setting. If you need more guidance on how to approach estate planning discussions, or if you have any questions about the process, we're obviously here to help. Don't hesitate to reach out. If you'd like to schedule a free discovery call to see how we can help, just click the link in the description below and you can schedule a free call to talk with my team and find out how we might be able to help your family. Now, if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insights on estate planning. And remember, the holidays are more than just a festive season. They're a chance to plan for your family's future.